An inmate convicted of capital murder is moved from the Mississippi State Penitentiary to the Central Mississippi Correctional Facility. 12 News' Jade Belexa tells us the mother of the victim he killed is uneasy with this decision since the prisoner is now in just a medium security prison. Back in 2008, George Bell III was sentenced to life in prison for the beating death of his girlfriend, Heather Spencer. Now, the mother of Heather Spencer will never get over the murder and the loss of her daughter. It's a prisoner move that's been difficult to accept for Linda Frankham. George Bell III is now incarcerated at the Central Mississippi Correctional Facility instead of the maximum security prison, Parchman. I can't come to peace with this, but and I haven't really forgiven just yet either. It's it's very hard for me. I mean, I'm a Christian. I'm a forgiving person, but no one but myself and my family know exactly what he did to my daughter Heather. Linda Frankham remembers another occasion when Bell attacked her daughter. Frankham says she needed nearly 60 stitches, but dropped the charges. This would lead up to that horrific day, September 10th, 2007, the day Bell murdered her. He told her he had changed, that he was a better person, that he wanted to, you know, go to church with her and, and you know, make things right. And then two days after he came home from that rehab is when he killed her. So I just don't feel like he is sincere. Frankham says this gives her reason not to trust Bell's intentions. Mississippi Corrections Commissioner Burl Kane says he talked to Frankham twice. I think she grasped that he was trying to change, even though it could be counterfeit. We don't know. You know, people are what they are whenever they... You know, we just, it's kind of like dancing with a bear. I say, keep your eye on your partner at all times. And so in his case, that's what you have to do. Bell graduated from the New Orleans Baptist Theological Seminary at Parchman. The camp was there. And so he had, he had, in our opinion, he had really tried to become a model program, try to do things right and try to change his life. And so we sent him to CMCF because we needed more of those field ministers there. And he was a field minister, which means that he, he is an influence on other inmates for good, not for negative. A system the prison uses for custody updates called Vine notified Frankham of Bell's move October 1st, but she was unsure why. I asked Commissioner Kane if more information should be given out on a prisoner's move. That's a good point, and I'm going to check with our staff and see if we can't do that and give a reason why we moved, because then that would be a little bit more pleasing. But quite frankly, had she not been at you know been okay i wouldn't i would have moved him back because again it's her feelings she's the one that's, that's offended and we have to take care of that and be sensitive to her first kane says he told frank um, Bell won't be a trustee or out working on the streets Linda Frankham tells me while she has mixed feelings, she'll wait to see what happens over the next several months. Jade Belexa, 12 News.